They say never say never. I say never tell me what to do. A person will never put you in a position above them. That's never a lie, always true. Success never comes without risk and risk never comes without fear. YouTube is a smoking mirror, never how it appear. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Ice Water, man. I know, I know, I know. Spot market been going crazy. Look, I got some new stuff added to my dat low board account so we gonna check it out real fast and see what's going on i've been seeing the rates but unfortunately i haven't been able to take advantage of them like everybody else because i don't try to do all that hopping around the people that do all that hopping around hey more power to you but when it's good for you it's good for you and when it's bad for you it's really bad for you you know what i mean like look as as with my older videos on the load board, it's what, 10.56 a.m. Central Time. I always look at the national load count. Scroll down to Illinois because that's where I'm at. So they got more loads posted coming into Illinois than they have loads going out. All right, I misspoke. They got more loads going out than coming in. All this tell you is the loads posted, and this is for vans. So I generally look at this just to kind of gauge what the rate's going to be looking like when I do my search or if I'm going somewhere, if a broker want me to go to a certain place, I just kind of look at the loads posted coming in, going out. Not to say that that's going to tell me anything about the rates definitely, but it's going to, it's going to kind of give me an idea of if the rates are going to be on the lower end the average in it's going to tell me how much competition out there and then i can base whether or not i want to go to a particular place based on the competition but we ain't gonna spend a lot of time on that go over to search lows i already got my parameters set up y'all know how i like to do it, especially if y'all seen my older videos we gonna search for we gonna search for van and reefer freight i see a lot of people do low board videos and they search for equipment that they don't even have and be trying to tell you about the lanes and the rates how would they know if they don't run those lanes and they don't even have that equipment i don't be understanding them videos but all i got is a a dry van and a reefer so that's all i'm gonna search for and that's all i'm gonna talk about i, I don't know about nothing else so what i always like to do is I, I i like to go over here and i like to sort mine by i want to know deadhead where can I pick it up at the closest and then, you know what I'm saying, get busy. So we'll do a search like this. And a lot of times I do this from my phone and I'll just scroll down and I'll start looking. If they got a rate posted, I'll look at the posted rate and I'll compare their rate to the 90 day average. Now, let me say this about the 90 day average. The 90 day average is just an average and it's over 90 days. The spot market rates change every week. Keep that in mind when you're looking at the 90 day average. Don't talk yourself out of a low based on the 90 day average. Don't, if you negotiating with a broker, this 90 day average is information for you but they also know what the 90 day average is. Don't insult a broker and tell them that, oh, that load ain't even at the 90 day average. They already know that. I see some people videos, they be like, oh, that ain't even the 90 day average. You probably not gonna get that load. Another thing that I like to do on the load board, I'm finna, I'm finna, I'm finna get clumsy here, I'm finna drop some jewels. Another thing I like to do on the load board, see this right here, this Rockford to Chicago. Now, I'm not necessarily interested in this load, but what I am interested in is this email address. See, this load board is more than just getting on here booking loads. It's full of all type of information. And don't forget, you can get 30 days free. I got a link that'll get you 30 days free on this load board. But back to this email address. What I'll do is I copy this email address. And I'll put together me an email list. So when rate, when I want to say rates, when freight get real slow, I start emailing these email, these people that I never pulled loads for before, just asking them what they got available. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Write that down. Look, another one. A Rockford to Kenosha. I actually will run this, but I never heard of this broker. But it's at six hundred dollars. Let me see what the what they say the ninety day average is. It's at seven twenty five. If I was calling on this low, depending on the pickup time, I know it's not picking up in Rockford. A lot of times they just if 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 a lot of people posting the same low, they'll pick a different city close to where the low picking up at. This picking up in either Rochelle, Illinois, or Belvedere, Illinois. Let me see to make sure they didn't. Same day ready now. Van or Reefer. Hmm. I don't believe them. Same day. Usually that mean like midnight or 11 p.m. Anyway, I'll take down their email address because I know they got a lane that I'm interested in. Yep, that's what I'll do. Rockford the Schomburg T, T Brother Logistics. I'm gonna take down his email address too because I run that nice little short load. So that's what I'll do when I get on the load board. And I'll just go through and I'll look. And then when I find Look at this. Belvedere to the white. I just had put an offer in on a low like this on Sunday. I wanted 1200 They had 1000 on it now. Same broker. I can call them today. I actually I got something to do. I can call them today and tell them, hey, look, I see you got your Belvedere, Illinois to the white, Illinois reefer low posted. Are you still working on that low? Nine times out of 10, he'll be like, yeah, he going to go through his little spiel about what time it pick up, what time it deliver, blase, blase. I don't even care about none of that because I pretty much know that this going to all these and the delivery going to be 3 a.m., but I can check in at midnight. I already know it's coming out of Belvedere. They first come, first serve. I don't need to hear all that, but he don't know that. He don't know that I'm seasoned, so I got to sit there and listen to that. And he'll be like, yeah, I can get a 1000 on it. You know what I'm saying? I said, okay, I can send the truck for 1200 Do you want it or not? And he either going to say yes, no, he going to try to do me down. No matter what he say to me, I'm going to hit him with the same. I'm just going to stick to the script. I can send a truck for 1200 Do you want it or not? I got another call coming in. You know what I mean? And put the pressure on him. I ain't putting that pressure on him. You hear me? Woodburn, Indiana. I don't want to go to Indiana. So I just keep scrolling down here until I see a load that I like. And once I find a load that I like, I'll investigate it some more. Freeport to Oak Creek. Uh, Blue Gray. Uh, yeah. That ain't going to work. And so this is how I find the lows. This is how I get the information. I look at, sometimes I look at the reviews, but I've been doing this so long. I pretty much know what brokers to pull for and what brokers not to pull for. Like this bro low right here with Molo, Molo Solutions, I didn't pull for them before. And this ain't a bad low. $900 ain't actually a bad rate. But since I know that rates are up right now, I call them and tell them I'll do the load for 1200 It's the same day loads. You pick it up and you deliver it at like midnight up in Madison. It look a little lumper, but it ain't bad. And if they don't want to give me 1200 for it, I'll be like, well, you just, you just going to let a truck go. You know what I mean? Because I need 1200 to move it. To lock the truck in, I need 1200 And that's how I use the load board. Every now and then, if I'm unfamiliar with a broker, I click on their reviews. This is another, this that directory have this section right here where you can go in and look at their reviews and I don't care what company it is you're gonna find good reviews and you're gonna find bad reviews I have yet to see a company with all good reviews somebody's had a problem somewhere and I'm going to tell you that what really determines whether or not you have a problem with a company is how you present yourself how you carry yourself and th those are probably the two biggest things. If you if you carry yourself in a professional way, you're not gonna have any problem. So this this is a directory where people can go on here and leave comments. I I don't go on here and leave comments. Uh, I kind of like if I got something bad to say, I really try to take it up with the carrier. No, I'm sorry. I really try and take it up with the broker, with their supervisor or something like that. And if I can't get it resolved like that, I usually resort to making a YouTube video. I've yet to put a review on there and I probably should start reviewing the good brokers. That's probably what that's, that's going to be one of my goals for next year. Like, I got a couple good brokers that I work with. I got one good broker at Plains Dedicated. I got another good broker at Martin. 
uh, is it transportation logistics? I don't even know. Yeah, Martin Transport Logistics. Those just two of the brokers off the top of my head because I'm waiting on some money from them two companies. So another good broker. Yeah, I got some good brokers. I just think I'm going to go and start leaving them some good reviews on here just to sort of help out. And so that's how I search for loads on the load board. Like I said, I normally do this from my phone, but today I want to shoot a video from the computer. So it just be a little bit better. Again, I got to say about the 90 day average. Remember that it's a 90 day average. Not sure why the phone jumped and made my voice making it jump. So don't be so quick to quote this to the broker. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm trying to tell you, I got some. You should already know what you need to run for that lane, no matter what the 90 day average is, because this is over 90 days. Remember that. The spot market changes weekly. The spot market is just what it said is the spot market. And hey, I've been on here too long, man. If you want to get like free 30 days on the dad load board, I'm going to have the links down in the description. You can hit this refresh button at any time to refresh the lows. And another thing, like what I like to do on here, I only want to look back like two hours. I don't want to spend my time calling on a load that they already been covered. So I try to like just go for two hours and then scroll down and look again, find a load that I'm interested in. If I see an email address, I'm probably just going to write that email address down. It's real simple. Like I'll show y'all right before I get up out of here. Let me see what I want to do. Open this up. So this all I'm going to do is I'm going to open it. Well, let me get an email address real quick and show y'all. See this right here? Copy email address. Go to this right here. Bam. And then I'm going I'm to just, I'm just going to make me a little note of email addresses. You hear me? It's, it's that easy. Hold on. That's still T brothers. Go to this one. Copy email address. Go to my little thing. Paste it. Bam. I got me two potential contacts right there for available freight. And all I got to do is hit them up, email them, be like, hey, can you add me to your email list for available freight? They don't do it because they brokers. They like making money. It's that easy. You could use this that low board for so many different things. So make sure, you know what I'm saying, you sign up with that low board. I've been rocking with them for like 10 years, man. I done made a lot of money with them, man. That's all I'm really going to say about this. I already then went over how you could set alarms. I went over how you could post your truck and... I had a truck posted right here. I ain't get no calls on that one, but that's okay. You know, it's free to post and it's free to set up alarm. So why not? All right, man, that's it for this video, man. That low board. Don't forget, you can get your 30 days free. Sign up with my link below and check it out for yourself. And if you sign up with my link below and you got any problems, any questions, you can email me directly and I'll walk you through how to use it and how to find freight wherever you at. Now, some places like... I, I I don't I don't recommend you go to Alaska. I mean, but just to show you what, like one in twelve out. Well, man, I guess you got a one in twelve chance of getting a load up out of there. I guess, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Anyway, that's it for this one, man. Been through a lot of pain in my life, and I pray the Lord take it all away.